the world is full of things. All kinds of things. We don't necessarily need them all, but they're here anyway. And the thing these things have in common? They've all been made by somebody. But how are they made? Factories come in all shapes and sizes. The types of production, broadly, fall into three categories. Job, or one-off production. Could be a musical instrument, a hot air balloon, or even the mighty Three Gorges Dam in China. Then there's batch production. That's for sets of things, and then changing to do other sets of things. And thirdly, continuous flow. For when you want to make lots and lots of the same thing non-stop. The categories seem straightforward, except that in the real world, it isn't quite that simple. There are all kinds of variations on these three basic categories, as we shall see. The Viola de Gamba died out completely. This is the Glaxo factory where they make loads and loads of toothpaste. On an average day, they make one million tubes and pumps of toothpaste. Now it seems pretty simple when you look at them here. But behind all this are the systems that support the factory. And without those systems, nothing would happen. It's the same in any factory. This is a company called Time RPS. They make very different products, but the importance of systems is the same. We're going to have a look at those systems and find out why they're so important. Factories have been around for about 150 years. There have always been systems in factories, but in the old days they were paper based. Over the last 25 years or so, computers have come to dominate the life of factories. Computers to design products, computers to plan stock control and production computers to monitor production, systems to maintain quality, and so on. You can't make a product until you've designed it. That is the first essential step. Here at the Time RPS factory, they're always designing new products. They make almost anything. From this artificial foot, to these plastic leaves for a shock display. Or these speaker grills for a car door. But before these products can be made, they have to be designed. The basic tool the designers use is computer-aided design, or CAD for short. Before computers came along, designing a product was a laborious process of making endless drawings. These days, the CAD software draws a product for you. And it'll give you 3D pictures. It'll even open the lid. This product they're designing is called the Bio Bin. It's a bin where you can put your organic kitchen waste and then leave it out for the council to collect. 
great benefit of CAD is that you can see how the product looks before making a model. You can even test out which materials will work best. That's really one of the great advantages of CAD.